I'm Dr. T.J. Lonergan with the Impact Health and Spine Centers, and I'm here with Dr. Hal Blattman. Uh, medical Director for the Blattman Health and Wellness Center. And we're going to talk to you a little bit about what you can do to prevent a neuropathy. Right. How do you prevent it? You're like your nerves are about to be damaged, or you've got an illness, or you're taking medicines that could injure your nerves. How can you protect them? Well, one, a lot of this comes back to your diet. It's a really simple thing that you can do for yourself outside of seeking counsel from somebody who can give you a little bit more specific things on what to do. And one of the major things you want to look at in your diet is what house? I think that um, you want to stop eating the things that can cause further oxidative stress or further injury to your nervous system. So that's going to be bread flour, sugar, artificial sweeteners, the things on the inflammatory food list need to come out of your diet. Where do I find an inflammatory food list? I think you can might find that online. Right. Right. And keep or it real can, simple. Or you can sign up for our newsletter and download what we call the Do Not Eat list. And so these are things that you can do specifically for yourself. You know, but what another thing you can do besides just the food at the grocery store is you can look into supplementation. There's a lot of good supplementation, uh, nutritional supplements that can help you kind of prevent and fight this and, uh, and raise your resistance to this happening. And we've used these nutritional supplements to prevent and also reverse diabetic neuropathy for many years. And they also will help protect the nervous system from a chemotherapy neuropathy. So if I'm hearing you right, Hal, uh, I can actually do something uh, myself to help my neuropathy and help my health. And this is, and I'm not stuck with this the rest of my life potentially. Yeah, we'll talk about that in our next episode. But you can actually prevent it if you do these things while you're being injured from your chemotherapy or your diabetes. You can help prevent the damage to your nervous system. But it's not always that. Sometimes that neuropathy is mistaken from something else that's going on in the body, and it's not just a neuropathy. Sure. Um, like when you're following the nerve back up, that nerve's got to make it all the way back up to the brain. It's got to go from the brain all the way back down to the toes or the fingers. And anything that's disrupting that signal anywhere along the line can have a problem. And uh, it could be something as simple as in the spine itself and how it's motioning or moving. That's why something like yoga or tai chi or just a daily walk or getting in a swimming pool can keep that spine loosened up so that those signals run free and, you're, and there's less potential for a problem to happen. Right. So if you're kind of getting it on the physical side and, and keeping yourself healthy and you're getting it on the chemical side and keeping yourself healthy, uh, we want you to know also from a mental perspective that you can get yourself healthy. It's not just a, it's not just a fait accompli. We also see people who have very, very tight calf muscles and very tight legs. And that fascia tightness can interrupt blood supply to the nerves, make the environment very toxic. And for those people, they have something called an idiopathic neuropathy. They don't have diabetes. They've never had chemotherapy. And what we find in those people is it's not really a neuropathy. If we can release the fascia and detoxify the fascia in the legs, the feeling and sensation come back. So the big question, the big question here is, you know, what do I do? You know, and I think, it, and I, we're going to talk about that here in a minute. Uh, but what we want you to know is that there's options. Right. There are options to do, and you're not just destined to not be able to feel your fingers and your toes. You can actually protect them and clean up your act. Well, I've learned a lot today, Dr. Hal, and I think this has been great. And uh, we hope that you're learning a lot from this too, and we, and we really invite you to send us questions, and, and we'd love to answer them for you. I'm Dr. T.J. Lonergan with the Impact Health and Spine Centers. And I'm Dr. Hal Blattman, Medical Director of the Blattman Health and Wellness Center. You have a nice day.